something for you guys. I had some fiascos at the rental car place where they gave me a broke car at first, but they got it together and got me a new car. So I got me my Jeep Wrangler. I'm about to head to the hotel. Um, I just stopped by like in and out Burger and I stopped by Target real quick just to get some little last minute things, just some jewelry and then uh, some more makeup wipes. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys at the hotel when I get there. About to get on the e-way and get on about out of here. Cause I got like still like 20 to 30 minutes to go till I get to the hotel. All right, see y'all. Hey y'all, so I just made it to the hotel room and we're about to do a tour of the room, okay? Um, so let's get started. We got the little area that's treated like the closet. The, um, what is it called? Clothes? clothes rack uh, with hangers um, an ironing board and an area and then you can see the room area but here's the sink in the bathroom so we just have a shower which they have the rainfall shower head and then also in the shower they have some towels and the shampoos. So we have a toilet room. So we got the little toilet. So it is kind of nice and intimate. Got a king size bed. And then a TV and a sitting little area. And then I'm staying downtown Denver, so the view is most likely downtown. So it's a nice view. Um, I think it'd be really pretty to take some pictures um, out the window with the window view. I think that'd be cute. Okay. Oh, here's the full body mirror. I was gonna say we do not. I do not have a full body mirror. Like, what's a room without a full body mirror, you guys? So, I do have the full body mirror. It's cute. It's kind of close, so can't really take too many pictures. It doesn't look like without an angle with the mirror, but that's what it is. And then the sad part is I'm gonna have to blog on my phone because I left my um, battery charger for my camera at home on accident, so. It'd be off my phone, so I don't have it where you know you can just flip the screen. So I'm gonna have to turn the phone back and forth, and I hope you guys can see me at a good angle. Um, but today, I really don't have any plans for today. Today is um, Saturday, uh, March 2nd, 2024. Um, I just flew in. I had the whole rental car fiasco. Um, I ate some In and Out Burger, so I might go to like Bubble Gump, that's right next door. Um, and eat some dinner in a little bit. It's around six o'clock, I believe, right now. Um, I think it's like six o'clock, so maybe around seven or eight, I might get a little hungry. Um, but I'm about to clean up the room and chill for a little bit and get settled in. And then I'll probably talk to you guys later on um, if I decide to get out and do something fun. All right, bye-bye. So I'm just checking in to let you guys know that I'm not going nowhere tonight. I'm about to lay down, kick up my feet. I'm about to get in the shower. And I'm about to chill for the rest of the night. Um, I don't really want to do anything. I don't feel like doing anything. So you guys will see me in the morning. Um, because tomorrow is the Nikki concert. So of course I'm getting out tomorrow. Of course I'm going to have a bar. And of course this is my first solo trip period. So I move all my time. So yes, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. This is day two in Denver. Um, today is the Nicki Minaj concert, but I'm about to go get some brunch and probably run to the store real quick. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do in between time. I really should say good afternoon because it's almost 2 p.m. Um, a girl been asleep, a girl been on her computer, a girl been on her phone. So that's been quite my morning and my afternoon. Um, I don't have any, anything crazy. I just got a sweat pants suit on with a jacket. Here's my outfit that I'm wearing. Mm. 
nothing crazy. But yes, this morning, um, well afternoon, like I said, I'm about to probably go to this brunch place. Hopefully they can get me in with me only being one person. Hopefully it shouldn't be a problem with car of most of Denver. Um, I found it on TikTok, so I can give me some French toast and some mimosas. So, uh, yeah, I shall see you guys on the way there. Bye-bye. So, I made it to mimosas, you guys. Um, I'm about to order some mimosa toast and a marcos um, off of their menu. And then I'm going to go check out some breakfast for brunch because it is 2 p.m. So they got me right in and I'm just sitting at a, um, the bar top. So just waiting on my own waitress and waiting on me. So I'm currently walking downtown Denver. Um, it's a pretty good day to walk. Uh, I'm about to go to the uh, museum for the black girl. Um, I didn't found it, so just need to go up the um, elevators um, to access to the museum. And then we'll be there. I have stopped back by the uh, resort to resort the hotel to get my AirPods. Um, and that's about that. Like the, it, my hotel is like right now it's time walking distance to a lot of things. Yeah. So. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna hit the stairs. I'm so out of shape. When I get back home, I really need to go to the gym and change my eating habits because baby we out of breath. Doing the smallest little activity. Girls, so we're about to go over there and get it cracking. And then after I leave there, I'll probably go stop down Sephora, and then I'll probably head back to the um, hotel and start getting ready for the concert. Because initially I was gonna like eat beforehand. But I really don't think I'm gonna eat before I go, so. Because I'm so full from having my late brunch, which you know, I didn't eat till almost three o'clock. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be hungry that quick. But, um, here's the sign. For the Museum of the Black Girl. Established 2019. So I'm gonna go in and I gotta get tickets because I didn't buy tickets in advance. the museum for free because it's actually closing at four i thought i knew website is at six um so i got a glimpse of the um museum and then another couple was in there well a group of people were doing photo shoots so there wasn't any like individual groups where i could get my own individual like photos so you just got a glimpse of like some of the exhibits you had in there which i think is really nice and then if i had more time probably would have did pictures of this but make sure um if I wasn't by myself. Uh, so I'm about to go downstairs to Sephora and then I'm gonna walk back to the hotel.
so I decided not to buy anything out of Sephora because I shop at Ulta more. Um, so it would make sense for me to buy like the perfumes and stuff from Ulta. Uh, so this is the same stuff I was looking at when I was at Ulta, like before I came on my trip. And I also have like some Ulta gift cards and Ulta points. So it doesn't make sense for me to buy the perfume at whole price. So I ended up not buying anything out of Ulta. So um, right now I'm just going back to the hotel. It's um, around four o'clock. Um, the concert started at eight and the doors open at seven. But um, I'm probably about to take a nap and start getting ready. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get anything to eat before the concert starts. Most likely not. So I will see y'all um, near the front entrance of the hotel so I can show y'all like what hotel I'm staying in and how it looks. Uh, just because y'all haven't seen me like walk in my hotel yet. Like I just got a tour of the room. So you guys will see me in just a second, okay? So here's the front of the hotel that I'm staying at, you guys. It comes all the way up here and back down. And that's where I was talking about like bubblegum strip right there. And then we also like have a little person across the street. Here's like the lobby and the entrance. Alright y'all, so I just washed my face. Clean face. I'm about to start doing my makeup for the concert and start getting ready. Look at my nose, it's so red. It's that light skin problems light skin problems with extra light skin um so i don't know if y'all want me to watch me do my makeup so usually i kind of like fast forward this part a little bit and show you guys the end results of me doing my makeup because it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to do my makeup usually uh sometimes 30. so we shall see how long it actually um, takes me to do my makeup um, this time. Cause sometimes, you know, when you make up, you just can't get it all the way right. You start over and you go again and again and again and again. Um, but yeah, I need to start doing my makeup for the concert, so starting to do my makeup and I don't think I'm going out to eat before the house I think I'm gonna just get a drink and a snack at the concert where I might pick up like some fast food um, but definitely I'm about to go out there I only eat like once or twice a day when I'm like on my vacation like I do not eat that often it's like paper at the bottom. You see how this is like thick, so they don't have to like thin it out. So it takes me a little while usually to like get my eyebrows to like the way I want them and clean them up the way I want them. So that's why sometimes like when people be like, oh, I can do my makeup for 15 minutes. They don't include the eyebrows because the eyebrows can be like a real um, tedious, tedious job, which it is. So I'm about to listen to some music and I'm gonna get back on here when I'm done with makeup. And then um, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I still have to cut up my shirt. So there's still a couple things we gotta do before we get up here, okay? Alright y'all, so here's the finished look for my makeup. I am all done. So I'm about to go um, start putting on my outfit. I gotta cut up the shirt. I have the Nicki Minaj, like one of the Gat City like t-shirts, but I wanna cut it up to make it like a um, crop top to wear. So um, I bought some scissors and I gotta cut my shirt up and then I'll show you guys my outfit when 
you know, I put it on. So let's uh, go to the bed area and then I'll uh, show y'all how I'm about to cut up my shirt, okay? Okay, you guys, so I got the shirt and we got the belly head and cut it up, make it crack. So what I'm going to do with the shirt, I'm gonna cut the sides. So take it and then we're gonna cut it about halfway up. It's like halfway up here, and because I'm gonna go both ways, I'm gonna cut it halfway up and halfway down. So take it along this seam, and we're gonna cut that seam as well. about halfway up. I'm gonna have y'all to kind of see what I got going on. So, the first two, there's like the seams are being cut, so it's like open. And then we're gonna take it, and I'm gonna just go straight down the back in the middle, with both ways, because I'm gonna end up tying it in the front and I'm gonna tie it in the back. I don't want to just cut it straight across like a regular crop top. I actually like want to um, fold it and wear it kind of kind of nice, kind of neat. I'm trying to think of uh, I mean, what? 
I might take a picture like this, y'all. But take this hat on and take a picture with just the hood on. That'd be a cute picture. And check out the nails. They marble. So cute. Marble pink. My hands are ashy and it's motion on them. But uh, Abby, um, Abigail 18 nail shot. She did her thing. So I'm gonna put on my jewelry. I'm gonna take some pictures and then probably see you guys in the car on the way to the concert. Full full. So the Nikki concert was definitely a vibe. You see, it was sold out for real, for real. She played the Chan Lee. Yeah, hey, yo, I been, uh, bitch, you been corn. We also got that Roman's Revenge. Ruh, ruh, like a dungeon dragon. Ruh, ruh. And then we got the super freaky girl, but you know, she played a whole set of music. I just want to say before I go back to this hotel, I did not overdo it with this faux part. It is freezing out here. Like you can kind of see my nose is turning red, red again. Like it is freezing. Like it gotta be like 30 degrees. Like I'm so glad this day rental car don't have heated seats. But it's midnight. I'm about to go back to the hotel, give me some sleep because I gotta get up in the morning and I'm driving to the mountains, y'all. Driving to the mountain, so I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. So today's the day. I'm driving up to the mountains. It is Monday, March 4th, 2024. And this is what I'm wearing. I have my long boots on, and then I just got a black jumpsuit and a hat. Um, I do have some gloves, and I do have a um, but it's called snowsuit and some goggles. But if you'll see me in that whole little uniform you know, when I get to the mountains. So may the traveling risk be with me. That's this is the first time I ever know it's in my visual. So I guess I may see y'all in the car or I may see y'all to me because I'm going to be first and then I'm going to be on So see y'all. Uh, I made it up uh, the mountains and I'm about to go smell to the heat. So I'm going to record me walking to the park. Say so welcome to the Coca-Cola Hill. Then that's the hill house I have to go to the chicken. Y'all, I'm too out of shape for this though. I feel like... I'm so out of breath. But here goes nothing. Okay, so this is the loading that we have. Um, we're the tubing. That's the hill we go down. So it's really fun. And there's like the view. Uh, so we'll be here for a little bit. Going up the belt to uh, go swimming again. So I made it to the meetup spot for uh, Smallville. It is currently like 1:46, and my session not until 2:30. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. So I did stop by Wendy's because I have not ate today. Uh, about to eat real quick in the car before I uh, go Smallville, and I'm probably not gonna go in until about 2:15 or so. Um, Cause I do need to buy a face mask. I don't have that, but I have everything else I need. So I am ready. It is so weird sending out these goggles. Like everything is tinted yellow. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get some snowmobiling footage. I don't know because I'm driving. I'm not having the driver drive me, so it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> the be on my phone and drive a snowmobile, which I have never done before. Um, so I could see what I can do for you guys. I might can do some footage like of other people driving maybe. But not necessarily myself. So we'll see. I just finished snowmobiling you guys. Of course I was not able to get any footage like I said. You cannot drive a snowmobile and capture footage. Like if I had a passenger with me, 
they could have captured footage, but with me being by myself, I couldn't. So what I'm gonna do is, um, you're gonna see some images of me snowmobiling to kind of make up for me not being able to capture any like um, action footage. Uh, just so you can see that it was a time. It was a time. Like if you ever drove ATVs, it's kind of like that, but in the snow. Um, but that's it. Like I did a guided tour um, and I was by myself. And the um, tour guy, he took pictures of me. He was awesome. And they also had a photographer um, on site that took photos as well. Um, I'll put links um, below for like all the different uh, companies I used to book my um, excursions while I was here. In, in, I should say Winter Park instead of Denver because that's where I did my excursions. Uh, it's currently 421, so I'm not gonna get back to Denver until like six o'clock. I'm thinking about stopping and getting me a nice button down shirt from somewhere, even if I just go to Target and get me a shirt um, to possibly eat dinner at Ocean Park, but I don't know if I feel like spending $100 on Ocean Park, so we'll see uh, where I decide to eat dinner. And then after that, my trip will be basically over because tomorrow I go back home. Made it back to the hotel, you guys. I just kept on my body suit under um, like skin, and then I put on my coat from yesterday, and then uh, my Dr. Martin, so I can go to Ocean Brine without having to go to the mall, and then go to Ocean Brine because I just didn't feel like wasting time. Um, so I'm gonna go see if I can park somewhere around Ocean Brine. Because I, it's a 10 minute walk, but I really don't want to walk, you guys. I don't want to walk. So if I can find somewhere to park close, I'm going to park my car. Um, I'm about to go downstairs, get my car, because I forgot to validate my parking again before they put a ticket or, or a tow or whatever on my car. So here's my outfit. been a very pink weekend but i will see you guys peace and love so i made it to um ultra prime i got the berries and bubbles um cocktail and i'll always get this when i come here then i just order like a prime roll and um the lobster mac so i can get my food shortly just get a little ambiance while i'm here and that's about it i decided to sit at the bar So I ordered the Prime Roll. It's really good. It's something I always order when I go to Ocean Prime. My best friend actually put me on it. Um, but I don't have chopsticks. Lord, I do not know how to eat with chopsticks. So this is gonna be interesting. Chopsticks, and then this is um, soy sauce. So, um, pour some on the side. Okay, I'll take it. I'll try. Let's believe I do not know how to eat with a chopstick. Oh yeah, it's as good as ever. I'm gonna order another drink and then um, wait for the lobster mat, which I never had. I was trying to lobster mat, so that's gonna be a new experience for me. So, I'll see y'all probably when the lobster mat come out and try that for you guys. Because I'm not doing this but on social media, browsing. So, I'm not doing anything crazy right now. Thank you. 
So I'm about to head to the airport, you guys. There's actually a snooze in the airport. So hopefully they're not too busy. And I'm going to just eat at the snooze in the airport uh, when I get through TSA and everything. Just to already be at the airport right now. My estimated time of arrival is um, 7.53. And my plane don't leave until 10.45. So I should have plenty of time. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys see me at the smooth in the airport. If not, I'm gonna still eat something before I board the flight and find me something fast to eat if um, snooze is too busy. So I will see you guys. Of course, Denver owes me nothing, but I will talk about that more um, when I buy some breakfast or at the gate. Okay, y'all, so I made it to smooth in the airport. So I'm just gotta get checked in. Your bags must go with the overhead bin, and all your small items must be stowed under the seat in front of you. Your small mo mobile devices may be secured on you or in your seat pocket. Your large electronic devices must be stowed in a bag, not in the seat pocket. If you're seated in an exit seat, please review the exit seating criteria and responsibilities on the safety information card in your seat pocket. If you do not meet this criteria, do not wish to perform these responsibilities, have a hidden condition which prevents you from performing, or feel you might suffer bodily harm should you perform this function, please contact the flight attendant for reseating. Fast, free Wi-Fi is available on today's flight for... 